My name is Lamar Anderson, and I'm going to take about five minutes of your time. Let's get rolling. People often ask me, what am I most passionate about? And I tell them it's real simple. I want to make Wichita, Kansas the greatest city ever known to man. So then they always ask me, they say, well, how do you propose that you do that? And so when they ask me that, then I, I know that they're expecting a, you know, an answer that's you know, based off of economics or a regulatory answer, but I just like, dude, I'm gonna do it like Wonka, man. That's how I'm gonna do it. That's how we're gonna make Wichita, Kansas the greatest city on earth. If you look at what made Willy Wonka great and successful, he had original ideas and he had original products. Sort of what made Wichita, Kansas great. We had original ideas, we had original people, we had original products. But it seems like in the last couple of years in Wichita, Kansas, we've looked at success in other cities and we've attempted to emulate that success and to bring it back here and it hasn't worked. Or we've looked at, we've been looking like the little children in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. We've been out there tearing through the golden wrappers in these other communities looking for the golden ticket to bring it back here to be successful. But that hasn't worked either. What we really need to come to realize in Wichita, Kansas is that we have everything that we need to be successful right here in this community. We are the golden ticket. When we look at our passion and we look at our businesses and we look at our community and we look at our family and we look at the entrepreneurial spirit, some people say that there's no need to reinvent the wheel. I say, why not? Number two, Willie Wonka taught me that you need a sensational team in order to be great. So Willy Wonka had the Oompa Loompas. And the Oompa Loompas were a community of little guys. They all had their own different jobs. They had their own roles. They had their own things that they had to do. But one thing that they had in common is that they wanted to make sure that their chocolate factory was the most efficient, beautiful chocolate factory in the world. Now let me tell you, we have some of the greatest Oompa Loompas here in the city of Wichita, Kansas. But what I will tell you is the one thing that Willy Wonka doesn't have to worry about that we do is we have to learn how to put diversity together. And maybe that's something that I don't think we completely do here. So what we need to do in order to bring diversity together, we need to create an environment that we show and tell all of our Oompa Loompas of all different colors, ethnicities, races, and backgrounds that it takes all of us pulling together in one direction, that it takes all of the passion, the blood, and the sweat, and the tears of every single person in this community to make our chocolate factory the greatest chocolate factory in the history of America. Because if we can do this, and we can combine our efforts, and we can move forward and progressively march like the Oompa Loompas, there isn't anything that we can't accomplish as a community. And the third thing that Willy Wonka taught me, we always have to remember that we are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Now, I've met a lot of people across the world, but there's something about a Wichitan that's just different. We talk a little different. We walk a little different. We love a little harder. Our passion is a little bit brighter than everybody else's. When the Shockers rolled to the Final Four, we were a city committed and we were a city full of little Oompa Loompas running around here and we wore our passion on our sleeve. You could not get out of here without knowing and loving Wichita, Kansas, but something changed. Kind of like what happens to our, our, our passion for motivation, or our passion for innovation. So what happened? What changed? Did we grow older? Did we forget? Did we become complacent? Did we become afraid to do what was necessary to make the impossible possible so that we could elevate our city. When this happens, when a generation of Wichitans, when they become stagnant, they begin to look to the past for answers, and they begin to look to the future for hope. All in the while, when they should have been looking in the mirror and understanding that we are the ones that we have been waiting for to bring a transformative change within our community. What we have to do is we have to get back to how we felt that day when the Shockers went to the Final Four. We have to get back to that spirit and that passion of what made us great of what launched Wichita. And we have to do that for two reasons. One, we have to do that to show the world that we are Wichita, Kansas. We have to show the world that we are simply the greatest community that God has ever seen, that God has blessed us tremendously and abundantly. Two, we have to remind ourselves of just how powerful of a community we are and the things that we can create as we march together as one nation. I want you to remember something Willie Wonka told me. He said, if you want to be successful, be original, 
Get yourself a great team. And always remember that you are the dreamers of dreams and you are the music makers. And we commit to these passions in the city of Wichita, Kansas. I promise you there will be nothing that we cannot accomplish together today and now and into the future. Thank you.